Eli Piles is the PR manager of MSU College Democrats. Here's what he said. There needs to be a student voice in uh, the selection of the interim and the eventually permanent president. We were very distraught at the fact that uh, the governor was chosen uh, to be the new interim president within just a matter of a, a weekend, really. Um, and there was absolutely no consultation with faculty or student groups or anything like that. Students on campus stated that they need representatives from MSU student body and faculty when it comes to making important decisions. So we obviously have um, issues with the way the MSU Board of Trustees went about making its decision process. Um, my personal opinion is that we need to change the way trustees are chosen. We need a representative from the student body. We need a representative from the faculty and a grad student representative. Students are expecting someone who is more experienced in academic leadership. So we want open meetings to choose an interim president. That's, going, that's experience in academia, which is something that uh, Governor Angler is not because he opposes the public school system. I think that's the, real, the primary concern right now when it comes to Governor Angler's position here at the university. On Tuesday, February 6, MSU faculty and students marched on campus to demand Angler's resignation. In East Lansing, Skyler Huang, Home TV.